Hi friends, my name is Abhay Tripathi. I am Vertical Head for New Technologies and Solutions under the Network Planning function within CTO organization. I intend to create a lot of short videos for knowledge dissemination to our colleagues and uh, our circle teams. So uh, this video is only intended for ideal seller and employees. The topic of today's talk is how to identify the RF capabilities of a UE. Typically in a market like India, we are often faced with situation that we don't know as to you know, the devices which are prevalent in market, what capabilities do they have, especially if they have to latch on into, into a different frequency network. Like in India, there can be 1800, 2100, 850, 2300, 2500. So it is important to know, to understand that, you know, what capabilities, which bands UE support. Now there are two prominent ways of finding that out. One is that each manufacturer, whenever they try to release a UE model or something, they have, they, uh, they get a tag code allocation from GSA. GSMA rather and um, at that time of registration of the model they um, they provide the various capabilities of the device as well second method is that uh, which is more uh, engineering method in which uh, a UE of a specific type or make is uh, made to attach onto network and network varies the UE for its RF capabilities it's called UE capability inquiry and UE capability information. So uh, as part of that UE reports its, uh, its RF capabilities. Now the second one is much more reliable and prominent because uh, you know uh, as we all know in last year or so or last two three years the increasing trend had, had been that uh, UE manufacturers are releasing different type of models um, into different market based on the uh, you know the price component that each market may have and some manufacturer may choose to you know um, probably have a uh, probably do away with a filter or something so that that band capability is not reported now uh, in today's talk we will uh, will go through one log file to analyze as to how do we identify whether that UE supports specific bands or not so I have got a trace file which was collected between an MME and an E node B and as the name says it is for Samsung J2. So let me double click on that. So um, <coughs> this trace was captured recently in uh, in one of the IDEA networks and um, when it opens up you will see a lot of messages between uh, source and destination and it will have various messages UDP, GTP, PTP messages and S1AP. So the message which is of interest to uh, the protocol which is of interest to us is called S1AP. So we'll okay so it can't be it has to be lowercase so so let me enter that and it's doing the analysis okay so now in this field you'll see that all the S1AP messages are listed the message which is of interest to us is UE capability information so we select that and because it's an S1 protocol so let me open that to the maximum expand subtrees okay so in that you will see initial context setup wraps to be set up and security capabilities UE radio capabilities this item is of interest to us with a protocol ID 74 now let's go through that capabilities so if you look at the UE capability um, RAT container it, it is talking of RAT type E ultra which means LT it is saying ASRI is release 10 and UE category is release 4 further down it will talk of supported RF param in the RF parameters it will talk of supported band list now you will see there it says there is two items item number 0 is band 3 which means 1800 megahertz band 
and the item number one is band 40 which means TDD 2300 so this UE supports 1800 as well as 2300 band so this is the best way of identifying uh, that w whether the UE supports band 3 or band 40 the reason why that is there is let's say if there is a band 1 network deployed then this UE will not register onto band 1 network because it do not have the capability and neither for band 41 also let me look at another UE which is there and uh, let's see what does that UE do so this the second UE is J5 so let me open that log file and again we'll add the filter for protocol which is S1 AP so let it load ok while it is loading ok then we apply the filter which is S1 AP enter So we search through the message, we find UE capability information, we open that S1 protocol again and let's go down to the RF capabilities. So, okay, so this UE is release 10 UE, category 4 and this UE says it supports 7 bands item 0, band 3 which is 1800 1 which is 40 which is 2300 then another one band 5 which is 850 then band 7 I believe is um, you know the FDD 2600 band 8 is 900 band 1 is 2100 band 2 is uh, European uh, 800 megahertz so 7 bands it support so each UE will have different type of capabilities or uh, you know different models may have different type of capabilities and they inform to the e -node B which in turn passes this on to the uh, to the MME for various banded supports so in this case 7 bands this concludes the talk for today thank you